Crime Five. Just reached that thicket over there on the siding without anybody seeing me. Hey, you! You that just jumped from that box car, stop! Didn't, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Stay where you are. Oh, I'm standing still. Don't shoot. I haven't done anything. Don't shoot, don't! Yeah. You're the most nervous hobo I've seen not to have done anything, Frank. But how do you know my name? That old man you stuck up in Prescott recognized you and trailed you to the freight yards. He saw you hop this train. Uh oh. Where's your offsider? What do you mean? Eddie, the one who helped you with the robbery. Eddie? Eddie's still in that empty box car. He, he's dead. But I, I had nothing to do with it, see? He committed suicide, you understand? He, he hung himself last night and I didn't have nothing to do with it. Is this just the way you found the body, Inspector? That's right, Doctor. Now go on with your story, Frank. Well... When I woke up this morning and didn't see Eddie in the car, I, I thought maybe he'd ditch me. Then when I sat up, something hit me on the top of the head. It was Eddie's feet, swinging back and forth with every move of the train. And you hadn't fought over the money you stole? Well, I've told you now a hundred times. Eddie fastened that belt of his around his neck while I slept and then tied it to that crossbeam near the top of the car. Well, I, I didn't know anything about it until this morning, like I said. Why should he kill himself? Well, I, I, I don't know what was eating him, but... Well, last night he got all excited about this boxcar we'd climbed into. He said it was just our bad luck to pick a completely empty one. Look, there wasn't even an orange box to sit on. There's no bags, nothing. Oh, I thought it was a pretty small thing for him to get so shirty about. Uh-huh. Well, what's the story, Doctor? Mm. Neck's broken. Death was instantaneous. No strangulation, then, eh? Nope. Just another one whose conscience got the best of him. You mean you think this is suicide? Well, naturally. Doctor, this can't be a suicide. Uh, sure it is. What are you trying to do, Inspector? Get me for murder? Well, all right, you got me for robbery, yes, but you ain't pinning a murder charge on me, too. Well, I guess the doc knows what he's doing, and he says it's suicide. That statement's based solely on a medical examination, Frank. I had nothing to do with Eddie's dying, see? Frank, you got in a fight with Eddie last night and broke his neck. Hoping to save your own, you tied him up to that crossbeam with his own belt to make it appear as suicide. But Eddie couldn't have committed suicide. There's one simple fact which proves that. Frank, the very fact that this box car is completely empty is the proof that Eddie couldn't have committed suicide. When a person's body swings freely above the floor and the neck is broken from a sharp drop, there must be something from which that person could have jumped. A chair, a table, a box... Something to jump from. Eddie was right. It was your bad luck to pick an empty boxcar. car. <laughs>